Well, we found it. This looks like a comm console. It's probably what's sending out the messages. Too bad there's nothing else here. And so you have found me. You are a single-minded creature, Pathfinder. I see it now. Your determination will grant the Ket dominion over this galaxy. Not on my watch, asshole. This posturing benefits no one. Our confrontation is inevitable, not imminent. I did not reveal myself as a traitor easily. I did so only because I seek a mutual benefit. Getting rid of the Archon. The Archon's obsession with the Remnant incites chaos and endangers all we've worked for. This must end. Still not seeing how I don't benefit from chaos within Ket ranks. Because it means the Archon lives and challenges you for Meridian, which you desire. I need only ensure nothing stands between you and your target. Once he is cut down, the Remnant will cease to be a concern. We will complete our purpose here and leave. Yeah, exaltation. One day you will be family. Till then, fight if you must. But I offer a reprieve from this conflict, so you can destroy a mutual enemy. It'll give us an ace in our back pocket. Just make sure the gun's loaded when we use it. The Ket cannot be trusted. Ryder, think. Why do you oppose the Archon? The Archon says he will use Meridian to dominate this cluster. He says Meridian will bring us victory. We have never needed Remnant to be victorious. No, he wants more. His ambition is plain. I am not alone in this thought. What exactly do I get from this deal? Sometime soon, I will be called upon by the Archon to destroy you. When that time arrives, I will provide you with the means to disable my ship. Or you could just leave me alone. And should you fail to bring down the Archon, my treachery will be exposed. Get manipulation at its finest. Fine. Anything that'll help me kill the Archon. During our next clash, I shall lower my ship's defenses and allow you to use a kill code to disable it. I have transmitted the code to the console in this room. I bid you goodbye, Pathfinder. We will not speak again.